Hey Virgo Collective, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope y'all are doing amazing. This will be a reading for the Virgo Collective. Only take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Flip the rolls if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy I'm picking up on. All right. Or the other person on your mind or someone else around you or however it goes. Energy is fluid. So use your own discernment. You are the master over your life, not me. Um... Virgo, I got two channel songs for you because your first card out is the sky, infinite universe and cloud formations. And it's so crazy because you see how you can see that sun just beyond those clouds. I, I heard um, sky is the limit and you know that you keep on, just keep on pressing on. Y'all know that song by Biggie and um, 112, right? Maybe the numbers 112 can mean something to someone, January 12th, maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> or maybe that date will be significant moving forward because this is something that's coming. You can see it's kind of in the not too distant future. There's some kind of breakthrough. There's a breakthrough in these clouds and there's this beautiful sun emerging, this light coming through the clouds, right? I kind of, I'm hearing infinite possibilities. That's another song I'm just picking up by Amel LaRue. So these are songs that you might want to go listen to. Um, there's a very determined energy I'm feeling you're in. And then the, the other song I heard was Diana Ross, I'm Coming Out. And that's funny because Biggie sampled that too. Could be a Gemini involved in this some kind of way. Diana Ross is an Aries though. Could be an Aries involved. I don't know 112 sign. So I ain't even going to try to get into that. And Amela Rue is a Pisces. So any of those signs could be significant. Pisces is your opposite sign. Maybe you have Pisces placements, Aries placements, um, Gemini placements. That's your fellow mercurial energy right so let's get into this we have the sky and then we have mysterious you know they say god works in mysterious ways this is what i'm getting from your reading there's more to me than what you see mm -hmm. i kind of feel i'm coming out because if you look at this card this dog is blending in it's a dog right here with some sunglasses on but he's blending in with the flowers all around him right it's like somebody's almost coming out of their shell that's why i heard i'm coming out probably yeah, I want the world to know. Got to let it show. It's like you're ready to show people who you are. Also picked up the Queen of Pentacles. I never have channeled a tarot card before in my pre-shuffle, but I channeled the Queen of Pentacles for you, which talks about financial stability, security, all of that. And oddly enough, um, I want to look at the bottom of this deck to prove my point. This is so crazy. But I heard the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles is very grounded, down to earth. Although she's extremely successful, extremely wealthy, extremely comfortable financially and stable and all of that. But she represents having your feet on the ground and keeping your head out of the clouds. And we got these clouds here. And then look what we have at the bottom of the deck. Parking lot, parking spot, parking go, parking garage. I mean, this is literally underground. This is how grounded the parking lot is right an underground parking lot so this is what i'm feeling i'm feeling like you're right on the precipice of something really really great and it's because you're feeling optimistic you have sunglasses cool laid back and relaxed attitude what's coming towards you hourglass seeing from a different perspective some of y'all been thinking long and hard about something and you have a fresh new perspective more pisces energy what's going on in your head space look at this look at this can y'all see it says, powerful, try to stop me. So you're feeling unstoppable. And then what's going on in your emotions? Cycles, change, and completion. Some kind of cycle has ended. The clouds are parting ways to make way for that sun. Yeah, God is up to something. Mm. I heard that song, maybe God is trying to tell you something. Is that from the color purple? I don't know, y'all. Sunglasses, narrative, story, spoken and or, um, I'm sorry, story, spoken and or written accounts of events. So some of you could be writers, you could be narrators, you could, something about writing could be significant. Maybe this is how you're coming out of your shell. Wow. We have character assassination and slander. Okay, so somebody's been trying to create a narrative of you, speaking down on you, saying you're something that you're not. But guess what? The perspective on you is about to change because you're about to come out of your shell. Somebody talking crap. Show me hourglass. Resurrection. See, look at this. <laughs> Receiving what? I'm sorry. Reviving an old connection you thought was over. This could also be a love situation, but I also feel like this is your character. They thought they had assassinated. It was done, but it's being resurrected. I told you people are going to see from a new perspective. 
We have soul tribe. Okay. Social groups. You're about to meet your soul tribe. And this is the thing that's going to help you to come out of your shell. You want to discover more of who you are by meeting those who are connected to you. To your higher self. Show me powerful spirit guides. Look at this. You got your spirit guides here. Whoever's trying to come against you is going to fall flat on their face. And I know that's right. We have a God complex. Okay, you got a God complex. And this is not in a negative way. This this is not a negative card. Not in this reading. It could be depending on the other cards that came out with it. This is you. Powerful. Try to stop me. You're in manifestation mode. You're in alignment with God right now. Your crown chakra is activated right now. Your spirit guides are on deck right now. Soul tribe, spirit guides, resurrection, whoever tried to keep you down, even if it's your own negative thoughts in yourself, cycle, completion, change. There's a big change taking place here. What is this? Well, we got Archangel coming out. Archangel Zacchaeus, your sacral chakra, the righteousness of God. I know that's right. This is about transmutation of energy, cleansing and healing. The angel of memory, you're remembering who you are. Emotional healing, releasing anger and victimhood, forgiveness, unconditional kindness and love and taking responsibility. You are nurturing something. The hangman is here. New perspective. The high priestess, your intuition is bang, 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 spot on, right? You're very spiritually connected. You got spirit guides here. You got to listen to your gut. Don't listen to anything outside of you right now. And you're an empress energy. You are literally nurturing, giving birth to, could be babies for some of you. Some of you could be at the end of a pregnancy or you're giving birth to projects, things here that you feel um, are motivated by your pleasure centers. Okay. The things that, I mean, that's all like Venus energy. Venus energy is all about pleasure and the senses and all of that. So you're definitely, some of you are realizing people you need to cut off. You're no longer talking to these people. These eyes are wide open. You're seeing things from a different perspective, like it said here. And it came out again here. You're closing out a cycle. It could be with someone who's possessive. Or some of you are just taking back your power. You're, you're hoarding your own power and understanding that I'm not giving this out to nobody else. I'm, I'm not giving this out to nobody else. This ain't being outsourced. Look at this. You're healing your inner child. You're redeeming yourself. You're healed. <laughs> your aura field is green, meaning you're feeling more nurturing. There's the um, empress. Um, communica communicative and social pregnancy may be in your future. I just said somebody, the cycle might be a pregnancy here. You also may be reconnecting with an old acquaintance or going out more. But I told you there's an old relationship that could be coming back. You're on the road. And then we have zebra, seeing in black and white, closed-minded, no gray area. Refusing to learn a lesson, stubborn and stuck in your ways. But this is what you're coming out of. That cycle is closing. You have you have the confidence now, powerful, try to stop me. And true love is coming. The number 888 could be significant. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you recently changed your phone number because you stopped talking to someone. Let's get some tarot. Show me sunglasses narrative and assassinating your character. Page of cups with the judgment. Somebody passing judgment on you, being childish, running their mouth. Hmm. Could be a younger water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like whoever it is, they're facing judgment. They could be apologizing to you with the page of cups coming back. Where it could be apology from this person because something is being resurrected. There's a new perspective here. Queen of Wands, maybe you get back to feeling your confident self. Soul Tribe is the Four of Wands. Yes, familiarity, comfortability, something that feels like home. Twin Flame for some of you coming back in Aries. Strong Aries coming through here. Show me powerful spirit guides, God complex. What is this all about? We have the Seven of Wands. Oh, you're not playing. But the Eight of Wands, look at this graduation of power. There are going to be so many opportunities coming your way here. Some of you also feel like there could be somebody trying to reach out to you, but I feel you blocking communication from them. <laughs> it says, try, try to stop me. I feel like this person is probably pushing up on you really, really hard. We have um, Leo and Sagittarius energy here. There could be some travel, some opportunities coming in for you. There's a lot coming in, but it's going to be good. You're going to be able to problem solve and think on your feet because that's what this is about. Okay. Things going according to plan. Things moving really quickly though. Rapid changes coming in. And the positive though. Like I said, you could be attracting a Leo. What's the cycles here? The devil. This is what you're closing out. 
some kind of attachment you had to someone. Could be somebody with addictions, bad habits, codependency you could have had on this person. I don't know. Yeah, possessive coming out with the devil. Some of you are leaving a possessive person behind for something brand new. There's a new job, new car, new home, growth, expansion, new opportunities here. The sky is the limit. This is a blessing. This is a gift from the universe to you for a new beginning after you walk away from someone else. There could be another um, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming in as far as a relationship goes or an opportunity that involves another earth sign. But you could be leaving a Capricorn behind. Yeah, look at this. Ten of Cups. I feel like you get your Ten of Cups after being very hurt and healing. Remember, we had that healing energy. So this is you healing. Here's your counterpart coming in. Your kindred spirit, your soulmate, your sacred union. There's a Pisces. I'm not a Pisces. Maybe there is a Pisces. There's a Cancer coming in. We have Libra here. And we have Pisces. Okay, so there is a Pisces. Okay. I feel like this past person is still lingering around, wanting you to choose them, but I don't think you will. No, you're going with the person who gives you the same thing that you give them, maybe a Taurus. All right, y'all, like, comment, subscribe. True love is the person that's coming in. Their birthday could be on um, August the 8th, but they also could be another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I really feel like it's a Leo for some of you, though, or another Earth sign. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Peace.